Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today you're going to learn about how to detect if your dog has possible cruciate ligament injury in the hind leg. I've decided not to use a teleprompter. You know what? Notes. I'm old school. I like notes. So, so what I'm going to do is give you five things to look for to see if possibly your dog has a torn cruciate. So, first off, many of the clients that come to see me, they've been to the vet, they've had all sorts of x-rays done because their dog seems to be just off. And typically you get an x-ray done of the hips, the knees, they'll look at it and say, yeah, it doesn't look like anything in here. But you're left sitting there saying, well, then what's wrong with my dog? So I'm going to give you some visual instructions. Sorry, it's almost dinner time and apparently somebody's very hungry. So I'm going to give you some visual demonstrations of things to look for. Now, if your dog has one of these, it does not necessarily mean that it's a torn cruciate, but it's just a little thing to put in the back of your head and say, hmm, maybe this is a torn cruciate. So the first thing we're going to look at, come on up here, is if you look at Ben, and I'll have him turn sideways, or not. This is where the treats come in. So if we get him to sit, you can see here that he has very nice symmetry. So what happens is he's got, you can't see his legs sticking out. This picture above, the dog, you can see the dog's leg winging out to the side. And the reason that they do that is when the knee is unstable, i.e. a torn cruciate, <coughs> they put the knee out because they don't want to fully flex it and put pressure on it. as well as when they go to get up they don't want to put weight on it and push off with that knee because it's unstable. Is that right? Really? So the second thing to look for, enter Jake. Uh, he doesn't have a torn cruciate but what he does have is some arthritis in his left hind. And what I want you to see here is the way he, it's just a natural stance. So when he goes to stand, got to feed the other dog too. When he goes to stand, his default position, he will always stick that back left leg out a little and lean a little to this side. He does not, if I put him, if I go to move his leg, his left leg, put it underneath so it's in line with this leg, he's going to make me a liar. That's what he's going to do. What will happen with the dog with the, with the, what will happen with the dog with the leg, let's say, in, we'll pretend it's his left leg, is you'll find that when they're standing, they will try and lean towards the better side. So in his case, he wants to lean towards the right side if it was his left leg that is, was affected. The other thing they'll do, <laughs> he's old and he doesn't like to play the demo dog any longer. So, but he's still a good boy, aren't you? You're a good boy. The other thing you can do if you can't really tell is you can go, let's say you think it's the right leg. So you lift the right leg and you say, oh, okay, I can lift that pretty easily. And then you put it back down in line with the other leg. And then you go to lift the other leg. And what you'll find is it's almost like lifting a brick. That gives you a clue that they don't want to put weight on whichever leg it is. So lifting the good leg means they have to put weight on the bad leg, which they don't want to do. So it's like lifting a brick. Good boy. So another way that you can tell if perhaps your dog has a cruciate ligament injury and this this test is if it's fresh you won't feel a difference but if it's something that's been there and you didn't know about it for a month maybe two months what you do is with your dog standing looking away from you you have their legs and what you're gonna do is have them look away no you don't need to look at me I'm not doing anything terrible what you're gonna do is feel the inside of their knee with both, you want to feel both knees at the same time. What you're feeling for is a bump on the inside of the knee, like finding the knee going on the inside. If one feels bigger than the other, it's likely that they've torn their cruciates, you know, a little while ago, 
and what's happened is it started forming scar tissue. So you will find this bump, which is actually called a medial buttress, which is indicative of an unstable knee and the body trying to repair itself by building scar tissue. Now, a telltale sign of a cruciate ligament injury is when your dog is walking and you hear a repeatable click, 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 and you can't quite tell where it's coming from, but you're thinking it's coming from the back. It's not that easy and very often you won't hear this, but basically what that's called is a meniscal um, tear. And I know from experience that the meniscus probably hurts more than the torn cruciate because what happens is this little C-shaped cushioning um, has a tear or what they call a bucket, it's flipped over and every time the knee moves it hits it and it's very painful and what you can hear is that click. Sometimes you can appreciate it if your dog's lying on the side and you slowly move the knee back and forth, sometimes you'll hear this repeatable click. But not always does a click when you're doing that passively mean a cruciate. It could also be a tendon passing over the bone. So. That's one of the other ways to detect it. So those are just a few ways that you can detect whether your dog may have a cruciate ligament injury. You can have an x-ray done. Unfortunately, if the injury is really new and it's only a mild tear, the x-ray may not tell you too much. Um, it may show you some arthritic changes in the joint, which could be indicative of the cruciate ligament tear. But the reality is that you don't see the ligament in an x-ray. So it's not until they get into the joint doing surgery that they'll actually see if it's partially torn or fully torn and or a meniscal tear. So I hope that, hope that helps you out. Uh, stay tuned for another video. I'm going to do a little video on, on trying to figure out if your dog has a luxating patella. Thank you and I hope this helps you with your dog.